Our last step, last step today, we're going to talk about how to clean up paint. All right, so your table should be set up, and we're going to follow our chart, just like we usually do, for who's going to put away what. So usually, you guys are going to put away folders. Today, you're not. You're just going to put away your paint papers, all right? We'll put away our folders after everything is done and we've finished our reflection. When putting away wet paper, it's important to remember which shelf belongs to your table. So our shelves go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Since we have nine tables. Remember, if you're sitting at the green table, your table is either one, two, three. If you're sitting at a red table, you're four, five, or six. And if you're sitting at a blue table, you're seven, eight, or nine. All right? When carrying our wet paper over to our shelves, we want to make sure we're using two hands. Because if they're super wet, they're going to get super floppy. And you're more likely to drop it if you don't carry it with two hands. So you're going to pick it up, and you're going to walk it over your shelf, and you're going to set it down in a blank area. Do not set your painting down on top of somebody else's, or they are going to stick together. Alrighty? So the first thing everybody should have done was to put away your wet painting. Everybody needs to help with this because everybody has their own wet paper and they cannot be stacked. Your next step is we're gonna put away all of our tools in the same spot we got them from. There's only a slight difference, right? So your t-shirts or aprons go back in the apron box. Do not throw them. You need to walk over and set them over nicely. Your towels, if you got extra towels, go back in the towel box. If they are super wet, we might have an extra bucket to put in super wet towels. Your brushes, you should have rinsed them in your cups, they're nice and clean, and they're gonna go back in one of their two spots, either the brush box or the little cup hanging off the drying rack. Your water cups, you're going to dump in the sink. The next class that gets them can rinse them out when they fill them up with water, so you don't need to worry about that. Just set it nicely in the drying rack. Mixing plates are also the same thing. You're just going to dump out if they're super, super soaked and then set them in the drying rack nice and neat. Your paint plates should have their own shelf. Do not put them on top of anybody else's and they do not go on the counter. You put them on the shelf on the tower. All right? Our last step after your table's all cleaned up, before we start putting things back, on our table is to make sure it's sanitized. Me, I have lots of little spots on my table. So what I need to do is, whoever's job it is to sanitize is gonna come sanitize your table. They'll spray it just a little bit. And you're gonna take your table towel and try to get it as clean as you can. It is okay if it's not completely perfect. If it's still got some smudges because you guys had a lot of paint on the table, that's okay. Your goal is just try it to try and get it as clean as you can and sanitized. All right. Your last step is to put all your tools back where they belong. So the first thing you probably want to grab, so that nobody steps on it, is your sketchbook. All right. Grab your sketchbook, put it back on its spot in front of your chair, and then you're going to grab your toolbox off the ground and put that back in the center of the table so that it's ready for you in the next class to use again. All right? And then we can start our reflection in our notebooks.